Hello everyone, we're on page 69. We're going to be looking at example 2, find surface area and volume. Surface area, since the base of a pyramid is square, the perimeter... Okay, so we're going to find the surface area of this. Since the base is a square, the perimeter is going to be 24, because this is 6, 6, 6, and 6, so perimeter P is equal to 24. Uh, the L stands for the slant length, which is 5, and the height is 4. Okay, we're not, we're going to use that down here. Okay, so the height is 4, and B, what is B? Remember from here that B down here is the area of the base, okay? So capital B means area of the base. Well, if each side of the base is 6, capital B is going to be 36. The area of the base is 36. So now we can plug these in and solve for surface area. That is 1 half times 24 times the slant length of 5 plus the area of the base, which is 36. Keep in mind that this first part represents the area of the four triangles. Okay, 1 half times perimeter times length. That's going to give you the area of the four triangles combined. And the B is giving you the area of the base. You can solve surface area doing the four individual triangles, adding those areas up, and then adding it to the area of the bottom if you prefer. Or you can just use this method given in the book. 1 half of 24 is 12 times 5 plus 36 equals 60 plus 36, and that is 96. And that is going to be labeled centimeters squared area is always going to be squared and volume one half base times height or one third times base times height where b or the base i'm saying actually the area of the base one third times the area of the base which is 36 times the height and keep in mind that's the height from the base to the peak okay this height is not the slant length do not confuse them so the height is the distance from the peak going straight down to the bottom, which is 4 centimeters. All right, a third of 36 is 12 times 4. That's 48 centimeters cubed. Okay, uh, as long as you're showing your work, you know, there is more than one way to solve for surface area and volume. Um, I'm just showing these two because they're in the book and they're straightforward and easy to use.